So my name is Sean McLaughlin. I'm the CEO of Airframes Alaska, and I'm here with John Rule, engineer at Airframes Alaska. Okay, and we're here to talk to you about our new titanium landing gear and landing gear parts, including the Cabane V. So John, why are we doing this? Why are we building stuff out of titanium? It's expensive. Yeah, so to continue on with our mission, we're trying to save weight um, anywhere we can find weight savings. And so we saw landing gear as a great opportunity to save loads of weight. So it's a pretty heavy component, yeah. generally speaking. So yeah. how much does moving to titanium save you in landing gear? So for the whole set, you save eight pounds. If you replace a Kibandi, it's an additional pound. So you got nine pounds of saving. Yeah, pretty Okay, so why hasn't everybody done this? So there are a lot of challenges with titanium welding, and that's what we've been working through this whole process. Um, so initially, we welded this leg outside of a chamber. So what we did is we back purged all the tubes, um, we kept all the parts clean, and then we bolted this on an airplane, did extensive testing. So this 500 is a pretty miles. old. This is a pretty old set of titanium, right? Yeah. Titanium gear. Then. So we, we. This is the first one you did. Two years ago is okay. when we welded this. All right. So then it's been out in the field. Okay, give me a sense. How much was it out in the field again? Uh, with 500 landings. 500. Just... By. Like on a runway or what? What do we do? Back country. Back country, yeah. heavy duty flying. Heavy duty flying. Okay, yep. all right. And what did we find? What did we find during that testing? So th the first thing that we found was... How many things did we find first? We found two things. Two things, okay, tell me the first one. Yeah, so the first thing that we found was the gear was actually flexing a little bit more than the steel gear. And we saw that as an undesirable effect for pilots. You know, looking out your, your window, you see your gear flexing. Uh, you know, it's gonna hold up, but we just didn't want pilots to feel like there'd be an issue there. Um, right. So what we did is we added these brace tubes in. So that was the first design change based on field testing. Okay, and what else? What else happened? So the second and then, one- And by the yeah. way, you then put it back onto testing. Yeah. That gets rid of the flex. Exactly. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay, what else? So the second thing we noticed was the weld purity of all the tubes was a little suspect. So if we're gonna go through an FAA process, we need tight welds, you know, perfect welds and we didn't really see that as being possible is outside it, of the Is chamber. this why I have so many bills on my desk oh, yeah, for all totally. the expensive stuff? Yeah. So we had okay, to buy. So what, what did you buy? We had to buy a flexible chamber basically to do all the welding inside the chamber so that there's no oxygen to contaminate any of the welds. It's all enclosed in argon. So this is all a very unique way. This is what you have to do when you're welding titanium. Yeah. So companies so like. We're, be we're becoming quite an expert on titanium, aren't yeah, we, around here? For sure. So companies the flat like. Flat parts and the yep. EDM. We're getting. It's getting pretty complicated. Yeah, to give you a sense, like companies like SpaceX, um, Blue Origin, they use flexible chambers to weld titanium. So, so we've got what they got. Yeah. That's why it costs a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay, so we've got these products. So what, what you got a couple other things here you brought out. What are these? What is that? Yeah, so right now we're working on a run of titanium gear. These are the individual components okay. right now. So this is an inch and a half axle. How big's our first run? Uh, we're gonna start with a run of five and those then, are all sold. Yeah, How fast are you gonna do the next run? We're gonna order we're ordering parts right now. Okay. So why aren't you doing a run of twenty? What's going on? Yeah, so for this first run, we're trying to get a sense of what our cost is gonna be, what we're gonna have to sell the gear for. Um, kind of iron out all the production issues with welding in the chamber. Okay. Um, there's a lot okay. to figure out. All right, so on the first ones, we'll have a better sense of what price is gonna be going forward. That's kind of your theory? Correct. Our all goal right. is to get it as, as cheap as possible for the customer. All right, and then to, to be clear, these are experimental? The first yep. few sets going out are experimental? Yes, but at the same time, we're pursuing certification. Okay, and the certification is a new, whole new STC, or what are we doing on this certification? Um, so this is an amendment to our current STC, basically adding titanium as an option for the landing gear. And does the FAA just let us weld titanium, or what do we have to do there? I mean, So that's another kind of caveat. We have to develop a titanium weld spec, um, and that is in process and through Actually welding the gear, we certify that and show that we're capable. So that's part of the that's also part of the certification. Correct. So Got it. We're, okay. on, we're on the way. Alright, so this is your axle? Yep. So this is an inch and a quarter on here and then we're just only gonna offer inch and a half. Okay, so we in testing we did inch and a quarter, but we decided in production go inch and inch a half. Inch and a half, yep. So they can't get an inch and a quarter version. Correct. Okay. Yep. So that's one challenge. They'll have to yeah. Use the spacers or something, right? And there. It, it, simpl it simplifies our production. Right. Only we just got it. Set. Right. This something we just got to do. And yeah. what's this? So this is the fork um, that slips into the axle here, and you connect your suspension to. Okay. Got it. Got it. And then what about these right here? These are the hinge fittings. So you have your front and then your rear hinge fitting. Those look almost like our ones we use in our steel. Yeah. Gear. They're they're 
basically identical. Identical, but out of titanium. In the old days, they used to do this thing by bending pieces around and welding, and now this is all one machine part. Yep, yep. Pretty cool. All right, so we're getting all these parts together, and then we're doing a run of five? Yes, yep. Okay. I know those are sold, so we better get, you better be moving on new parts quick. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is gonna be a big item for us, and we're committing a lot of resources to it, and hope you stay tuned. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? That's it. All right, guys, so to keep on track of supply, pricing, and so on, check our website, um, and uh, thanks for your time.